Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to get Office 2016 for free, provided that you are a student at an eligible institution. So if you're not a student, this probably isn't going to apply to you. Now the next question you might have is, well, is my institution eligible? So you're looking at, uh, I've got Google Chrome open over here. It doesn't really matter what you have open. I'm going to be doing two tabs just to kind of make this easier. Uh, so in one tab, I just typed in something simple like office, free, students. You could put in something along those lines. And so there's actually a website. I would just tell you to put the URL in, but it's not a real easy URL. I just searched for office, free, students. This is the first link I got. So this page prompts you to enter your school email address. And so the idea is you enter your address here, and it will tell you whether you are eligible or not. Click on that, and I'm a teacher, and that's good. It'll say if you may, if you had a, a an ineligible email address, it would say something else. So that's how you can check whether you're eligible or not. So assuming you are eligible, let's uh, look at the process. So depending on where you're at, like uh, where I work, the easiest way to do this would be to go straight to your email account. So this is a, this whole process revolves around Office 365 and you probably think of that as your email account. So what I'm going to do just to make this process a little more generic is I'm going to go to a Google search and I'll say Office 365 uh, login something like that. If you are at a sc eligible school, there's probably a much easier way to get to your email. I'm just clicking on I'm just clicking on the second link Office 365 sign in to your account. Um, so I tried to sign out. Basically, I signed in. Uh, so I put in my username. I put in my password. It remembered me, so it's not really going the way I wanted it to go. And personally, for me, I got redirected, just the way my institution does things. And so here's that. Here's that uh, email address, and here's where I put in that password. Don't email me at this address, it's just a made up address for this video. So notice that when you sign in, you're looking at your Outlook account. So that's why I say this kind of looks like your email, because it is your email, but there's also other things in here. This is really a portal to Office 365, but you probably know it as your email. I don't know how you get to this screen. I got to it the generic kind of Google search way. It's a, there's a good chance that where you go to school, there's an easier way to do this. All right, I don't care about football. Well, I do care about football, but we're not looking at that. All right, so now we want to go get Office 2016. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on that gear up there in the corner. That's not too intuitive, but that's where it starts. Then there's probably other ways to do this, but I like to click on that Office 365 right there under your app settings. I think I clicked it. Now... Uh, you got these options right here. I'm going to click on software. And you can kind of see what we're looking at. So this is the thing that I am eligible to install because I'm a student at an eligible institution. So I'm talking Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Now, I also want to point out that this is more than what you would get by just going to the store and buying the student version of Office. Because you get things like Access, even Outlook. Um, so it's, it's as simple as just you're here and you would click install. I should also point out that down here, if you needed Office 2013 for some reason, you have the option of getting Office 2013. But I'm going Office 2016, so I click inst install. And I'm going to click close. Now this is an installer. And so notice that little thing right down here. It kind of depends what browser you're using. So that was a very small uh, file that I downloaded. Like it literally took one second. The more interesting part is when you click run. Uh, gosh, it's that that popped up on my other screen, so I had to drag it over. Now this process here is where the actual file is being downloaded. So when I clicked on install, it just downloaded a tiny file, which took a matter of seconds. And when I ran that, it does runs this application, which is an installer, and this installer could very well take. Uh, take uh, several minutes or maybe even longer than that. So I'm going to pause it. So I'm not completed with the process yet. 
Um, I can tell you that I've been sitting here for probably about four minutes and you can see this little bar. I also want to mention that uh, it was kind of just stuck at 2% for probably three minutes and then this thing popped up. The only thing I'm trying to make clear is, I mean, I'm just sitting here doing nothing, but uh, it is not real fluid in the way that this bar progresses. Uh, so don't be particularly worried if it sits there at 2 or 20 or 40% for a while. Currently, I'm sitting at, I don't know, about 20% or something like that. I expect this to take at least 10 minutes. Um, make sure that you don't sign offline or something like that. This process needs to complete, so just be patient. I'm going to pause it again. So... <clears throat> that process took me a little bit over 20 minutes and I'm on campus I'm on a high-speed network so if you're wireless or you're not on a high-speed network it could take longer I've seen it take a less time but notice that it's just as simple as being done right I'm all set it's installed now it's just up to me to open them um, I want to point out I didn't have to enter any information like a like a serial number or a key code or anything like that it was just uh, all linked to me being a student at an eligible institution. So just to recap what I did is at one point I went to this website and just tested whether I was eligible or not. That's really optional uh, but if you want to know whether you're eligible I did that. Then I logged into my email which really is technically my Office 365 account. Then I clicked on settings, clicked on Office 365, downloaded a launcher, sorry, through that little button right there. That only took a matter of seconds. Once I downloaded that, I ran it, and then I just sat and waited. And so getting Office 2016 for free is as simple as that. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.